A Nigerian politician has been arrested with $500,000 on election eve. It is not looking good for him. The reason why he was arrested is because of an alleged money laundering after being caught with the $500,000 in cash a day before the general election and the piles of the US dollars were found by police inside his car. So during election, usually politicians will take a lot of money and start distributing it to people to bribe them to voting for them, basically. So one of the reasons um, it's even like alleged that the Nigerian government, why they changed the Naira is because they wanted to stop, you know, politicians from sending and giving money so that they get votes. Nigerian influencers are being accused of misinforming and misleading their audience after receiving money from politicians. The whistleblowers say that parties give out cash, lavish gifts, government contracts, and even political appointments for their work. It is being reported that they pay an influencer around $45,000 for delivering a result. $45,000 is actually a lot and that's not the only thing. Um, other influencers claim that they've received a car or gifts or even appointments in um, a government office. But this doesn't only happen in Nigeria. It happens almost everywhere in the world. Politicians will do anything and everything to be in that position of power. They'll bribe, they'll hurt, they'll silence people. As I said, it's not new, but it is something that people need to consider when they're voting. So this man having $500,000 in cash and he was caught before election day it's kind of fishy obviously and they even allege that they found a list of people that he was going to give it out to so yeah but you know at the end of the day our people need to understand just because they give you money today doesn't mean that that's what's right for you that money for today okay granted it might buy you something but that's it that you were you are stuck with that politician for four years five years ten years is that really worth it think about it that's your policy maker you you're giving him power so i don't think it's worth it to take a few dollars here and there and then mess it up for the whole entire country for five, 10 years. And you know, there are dictators that would not even leave that position. So you're just literally making things worse for yourself. Let's think beyond today. Let's think about next year, 10 years from now. And I guess we'll find our answer when we do that. So clearly this man uh, was thinking about doing something with that money. That's a lot of cash to have on you. And he's been arrested. We'll see what's going to happen to him. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I am Ongil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.